Hey, what's up guys? Aerith here, and welcome back to finally a brand new video on the channel today, guys. So, um, first of all, I know this is kind of weird. I'm sitting down in front of my computer when A12, you know, Aerith, shouldn't this be a vlog channel? And, um, guys, I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. I'm not gonna go into detail with stuff, but, um... A lot of stuff has been kind of hectic, um, you know, in real life right now, and, you know, not just with the holidays, like, a lot of stuff has happened in general, which I don't think I'm gonna go into detail about uh, until maybe a later date, or, you know, I don't know if I want to share it, but, um, yeah, but, um, I decided I did want to get some content out for this channel before the year ended, and guys, something I did want to bring to the channel were reaction videos so if you guys want to see some reaction videos on this channel let me know in the comment section down below today we're gonna to be reacting to probably one of my favorite horror youtubers and are you know like kind of scary animation youtubers llama arts and i know it says i'm not subbed but that's because i'm subbed on the a12 channel and not this channel uh which is a12 vlogs but you know what i'm gonna sub to him on this channel too because i do really like his stuff now i'm not really that good with like um scary videos but because you know i do genuinely get scared but we're actually gonna go watch a few of his today and i haven't watched him in a while so hopefully this isn't that bad but um guys if you guys want to see more stuff like this let me know in the comment section down below but anyways guys let's get started and let's open up a video okay it looks like this should be his latest one let's put this thing on full screen Get our popcorn, which I don't actually have, but something I do all like to do is hold on to my phone whenever I react to something kind of scary, so let's get started, guys. I swear, it's the music that always gets me. My name is Josh Roberts, and it's been a year since I was abducted. Oh, I remember it like a year? It yesterday. I was walking home from school. Like, is he currently abducted, or is this like a story that happened and he already escaped? I stepped off the bus, and for the first time, someone else got off with me. I'd never seen this new kid at school before. I could hear footsteps. Like a school me. bus? I took a quick glance and saw the kid walking at a brisk pace. I thought he was following me, so I took a left, which wasn't my usual route. I looked around again and saw him take the same left. Bro, I feel like at that point, like, it sounds bad, but either you confront him face to face or you run away. Okay, yeah, he ran. Okay, good. That's one of the things I probably would have done. A forest. Dude, no, don't run into a forest. Said a heavy voice from behind me. I tried my hardest not to stumble on the log. I would not have ran into a forest, guys. There's like no witnesses there. And leaves being broken by some fast, heavy footsteps. Oh hell no! My legs hell no! Robbing as the adrenaline wore off, so I took a detour towards a playground. I stopped to catch my breath, looking around for somewhere to hide, and went silent. Okay. I was doubtful that I lost him. I took my phone out to call the police when I spotted a local news article. Caution. There is a suspicious man on the loose. He escaped the local prison and assaulted an officer. Beware, he may look like a- Oh, no, 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 no. I would have just- Call 911 right away, guys. Like, no hesitation. My rushing with thoughts, and I started to panic. All of a sudden, someone started choking me with their arms. No! I tried to fight back, but they were so strong. I didn't stand a chance. My feelings of hope began to diminish as I slowly blacked out. Okay, no, that's... I awoke to find myself in a dark, damp room that looked like a basement. The floor was hard and cold. There were no windows, but there was a staircase and a bathroom. I tried to move... Wait, is there ice in there? ...with a thick rope. Yeah, I got him. How much was the deal? Two hundred? Listen, you gotta do a little better than... Wait, this is one of those black market things, right? They put your body in ice or like you get be tied up like they kid. put you into ice and then they cut your body He's parts and sell them in the black market right the guy sounded mad because i see the ice in a tub i've seen this in movies before to. right after he hung up he opened the door and walked down the stairs with an evil smile oh heck no let go of me i exclaimed as he taunted me my arms started to fall asleep due to the tightness of the rope he came closer to me and i spat in his face oh he no me in sheer rage Okay. Then the oh. The doorbell rang, followed by pounding on the door. The guy grabbed some tape and shut me up before I could scream for help. He slowly backed off, 
signaling me to keep quiet and ran towards the front door. I looked around, trying to see what I could use to untie these ropes. I spotted a rusty, sharp edge sticking out of the wall. Oh. This was my one hope. I successfully got up and tried with all my might to reach it. As I was trying to cut the rope from my hands, I could hear the commotion upstairs getting heated. I managed to free myself from the ropes when I heard the front door slam. The silence was terrifying. I was frozen in yeah, fear. Yeah, because you don't know what's going on up there. It could Footsteps be the cop or it could just be more violent people. I choked and shuffled back to my original position, arms behind my back, wrists tightly locked together. Now where were we? Oh. Said the man. He walked towards me, grabbed my ankles, and started dragging me when the phone rang. He dropped me instantly and charged upstairs. I wasn't going to lose this opportunity. I untied my feet, grabbed the closest thing to me, and hid behind some boxes. Oh, that's smart. Now, that's where smart. Where did you go? He said as he stampeded down the stairs. I heard him getting closer to where I was hiding. I bolted up from behind the boxes and saw him checking the bathroom. As he walked out, I struck him over the head with a pole. He stumbled oh, and fell to the floor. That is so Prince smart. Red pooled around his head. Oh my gosh. I ran upstairs and out the front door. I stumbled my way to the closest house, screaming. A woman thankfully opened the door. She was shocked and fearful when she saw me. Yeah, get in, lock the door, call the cops. Rushed into the hospital. They're still looking for that man, even to this day. Okay, guys, so that was the first video we we're reacting to. We're going to react to another one in a minute, but, um, God forbid this ever happens to, like, anybody, because that would honestly be just the most terrifying thing to do. Okay, so there are two things I probably feel like I would have done in that situation to kind of avoid it. First of all, if you're in a city area, I would not run into, like, a more, I guess, um, secluded area, like a forest. I know it might seem like a smart idea, more places to hide, but if anything does happen, you will literally not have any witnesses or no one to help you. So stay within the city, maybe find a gas station, those things are always open, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure cops are always patrolling the area, something like that. Another thing is, when you open up your phone and you're deciding to, you know, call for help, don't stop in the middle of there knowing you're being chased to read an article. That's, no. It gives them, like, so many opportunities to, like, uh, it's just horrible, guys. I don't know. That That's the part that just really, I guess, you know, uh, just, I don't know, guys. But um, we're going to go to another video. We're going to react to it, and we'll see what happens in the next situation. Okay, guys, we're going to be reacting to The Bridge, which is a horror story, you know, from Llama Arts once again, animated. Now, um, I want you guys to let me know if any of these are true stories or not. Like, if they're true stories or whatever, because I just know they're animated. There could just be stories that are told. But um, let's just start watching this one. The Bridge. Sounds like a scary, like, movie, I guess. Okay. Video sponsored by me. Okay, I like so that. So this story takes place when I was about 16 years old. Mm -hmm. At my school, I played for the volleyball team, and every year we would go to a camp and do volunteer work for this guy. Fine. Like, ooh. The camp was in the middle of nowhere. When we got to the camp, okay. we immediately started to work. Camp in the middle of nowhere. October, That's already a setting for a horror camp. movie, guys. Just no. My two friends and I no. were sitting around the fire, trying to figure out something we could do so we weren't so bored. We heard that there was a small river down the hill from the camp, and we thought we could check it out. The problem was, is that it was some guy's property, and the owner of the camp told us to not disturb him. Then the don't go there! It's strange. not your property! We weren't really supposed to leave the camp, but being 16 years old, we loved breaking the rules. Of course. Yeah. We walked about 10 minutes from the camp, and finally we You do the some river. stupid things as a teenager. It was bigger than we expected. And there was a large wooden bridge that Of course I never did, guys. I would never press past twenty feet long and was big enough to let a truck go over it. My two friends and I decided to go under the bridge and check it out. As we were walking by the shoreline, we saw two headlights off in the distance moving towards the bridge, so we bolted underneath them and hid. We yeah, then okay. Let the truck roll over our heads and to the other side. Alright. My friends and I chilled there for a while, just talking and throwing rocks in the water. It was about 8.30 at this time, and now it was pretty much pitch black. That's when we started to hear a slow rumble in the distance. Wait, what's the, the point of just chilling there? Back, and this time it was moving much slower. We 
We stayed put under the bridge, stifling our laughter. Eventually, the truck moved over the bridge, but rather than going over to the other side, the truck stopped right on top of us. I swear, if they drop like a dead body or something. Water and the hum of the engine. Then, the door of the truck swung open, and out came a loud thump on top of the bridge. Oh, they're gonna drop a then body, aren't they? Scream, saying, I know you're out there! I'm gonna find you! What? I looked at my friends, and they were both shaking in fear. This must have been the crazy property owner, and he seemed pissed that we were on his land. Oh. He started screaming and saying he was gonna hurt us if he finds us. We could see that he had a flashlight, and he was swinging it around looking for us. We heard loud thumps as he walked around a little bit, calling out for us, and thank God he never went under the bridge. Honestly. Eventually, it went silent, and it sounded as if he went back into his truck. I was too terrified to move. We sat there for about ten minutes, and then my one friend, who we'll call Trevor, whispered in my ear, saying that we have to go. I gave him a quick nod, and in slow motion we moved out from under the bridge. We started to army crawl on the shoreline of the river, and I remember looking behind me to see the top of the bridge. I saw a white Ford F-150. In the driver's seat was the man, staring right at me with a sinister smile, and he even gave me a little wave. Oh, hell no! At that moment, I screamed and ran. My friend saw me run and took off after me. I could hear screaming from behind us. I took a quick glance behind me and saw that he was chasing after us, and I couldn't quite make out the object in his hand, but it seems to be a weapon of some You're sort. on his property! We ran into the forest and ducked behind a bush. It was pitch black in the forest, and we could hear why you don't trespass into people's properties, guys. Speaking. What's going on? The man never walked by us, and we never heard him. After we gathered our courage, we got up and walked back to camp, got into our tents, and tried to fall asleep. Oh, no. The next morning, we talked to the camp owner about the man that owned the property of the river. The camp owner said that he didn't know much about the man, but he knows that he has some mental problems and he's been accused of assault. I am so happy that we were able to escape from underneath the bridge. I can't imagine what would have happened if he caught us. This is why you don't trespass. What the heck? Okay, guys. So that one was actually... It was scary. Don't get me wrong. Like, the whole situation would have been really, really terrifying no matter who would be in it. But first of all, don't trespass into other people's property, alright? I mean, there's no way they would have known that the guy had mental issues. But even if he didn't, don't do that. That's just, no. What the heck is wrong with you? Second of all, okay, how do you get under the bridge? That seemed like a good idea. But why would they leave from under the bridge if they didn't hear the truck leave yet? Like, if you guys don't remember, part of the story was as he was climbing up, he looked back and the, you know, truck was still, uh, you know, over the bridge. Why did you leave knowing the truck was still there? There was a chance he could have seen you just like that and grabbed you. And another thing, why would you, like, okay, they knew that I was chasing them and all that, and they still chose to sleep in their tents. If I were them, contact camp counselor, get out of that forest, get out of that camp as soon as possible, and... Uh, yeah, okay, again, I don't know if any of these are true stories. If they are, then I really feel bad for the people who had to experience it, especially that first one, but I really do like Llama Arts' channel. He has a really good way of narrating these stories and the animations that come with it give some really nice eye candy and visual to how the situation went and definitely make it a lot scary and all that. So if you guys want to see more reaction videos like this, drop down a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll try to get more content out to you guys. A lot of things have been going on, have been hectic, but I'm going to try my best to provide content for you guys. So the links will be down below if you guys want to check out these videos or Llama Arts himself. I will react to more of his videos in the future, but hopefully you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, and bye-bye.